These are the parts that come with a low profile latch kit. We have the door handle and that's available in a few different uh, options. It's available in black or stainless and then in a lever handle and a couple different options for the knob. There's the latch itself, the low profile handle, the plate that's a custom plate to tie everything together and then the simple hardware here a couple of number eight screws and some wood screws so that's everything that we need to put on this uh, low profile latch kit now one thing that we should say here is that the rod that goes through from the front to the back of the door comes in a longer length than is typically needed with a standard door but it is longer in case you have a thicker door now you will very likely have to cut that down to, to match the thickness of your door. So this is the standard length right there. And the one that I'm gonna be working with today is right here. You can see that it was cut down probably about a, a good 3 8 to a half of an inch. So let's see if we can show you like this. So you can see that uh, one has been cut down about half an inch. So yes, there's a little bit of extra work here, but this gives you the flexibility where one kit can work with any type of door out there. All right, so I have this handle just loosely in there with the latch. So we have the one side put together, the outside. Now this is the inside, the hoistway side, and you can see the, uh, the assembly there with the, the latch and the, uh, um, the handle uh, um, on the other side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install the low profile part. So we're gonna start with this custom uh, plate here. You can see that there's uh, two diameter um, sheets of uh, eighth inch steel here. Now the smaller diameter is gonna go on the inside and then the, this uh, diamond shaped cutout is going to go up and down. And then the two countersunk pieces right here and here on the sides are going to go into, uh, hold the, the handle from the other side. And that'll be with number eight countersunk screws. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, I have the plate installed now and you can see it's installed with the two number eight countersunk screws. Those are approximately one inch long. Uh, enough to firmly hold that handle on the other side. And if I turn that, you can see that that's turning freely. Now the next step is to install the low profile latch. So here's our latch. And this is going to be installed such that the, the two holes are vertical going into the holes within the uh, diamond shaped piece here. And these are also installed with a number eight countersunk screw. And these are much shorter. They're approximately half an inch to five eighths long. I'm gonna do that right now. And here is the final product. The interior handle is installed with two countersunk number eight screws. You can lift up on the D-ring here, turn it to unlock, and it will spring back to the horizontal position. You want this in the horizontal position so if the car comes by and brushes it, it'll just uh, run it down. So that's where we want this to be. You wanna make sure that when you put this, the square of this in, that you, you keep that horizontal, okay? Uh, if it were in the vertical, it, you could create an obstruction because take a look at this. This is very tight here. You have three quarters of an inch of a strike, and then this is just under three quarters of an inch of a latch. And then on the other side here is our standard doorknob coming out probably about three inches. And as I said earlier, this is available in a handful of different options. You could get this in black, you can get this in a lever, uh, and also in a, in a couple other knob type of, uh, of designs. And that's uh, everything you need to know about our low profile latch.